Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can obtain a pet passport so you, you can import or export or transport a, a, your pet in and out of Kenya. Down here below we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about the application process. On our right hand side of our screen we have included a select language option and through this select language uh, you can be able to choose uh, the language which you find easy for you to comprehend and by choosing the, uh, the, your said language uh, what this is going to do this is going to translate uh, all the information on in the wiki procedure website page to the language of your choice and you'll be able to read through the information with ease and you can easily revert back to English by either clicking the show original tab here or by clicking the downward pointing arrow and choosing English and every Everything will be reverted back to the original um, original uh, format. We have also included external links to other websites, uh, which you can click and visit and get more information uh, on how you can get um, this uh, an, a pet passport and how you can get vaccinations uh, for your pet passport. And you can easily access these uh, websites by clicking on these external links. And we are going to visit uh, these websites as we move on with our presentation today. But before we move on with our presentation today, I'll urge you to go ahead and click the like button. Click the subscribe button on our YouTube uh, page so you can get notifications every time we upload new content in our wiki procedure uh, YouTube channel. So let's get back to our presentation. The list of items which you are going to cover in this session include the need for a pet passport, the eligibility criteria, the required documents, steps to follow when uh, making the applications, the fees, validity period, processing time, office location and contact information, and any other information that we may find relevant on how uh, to obtain a pet passport in Kenya. So welcome to our presentation today which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. Need for a pet passport. The pet passport allows owners of pet dogs and pet cats to import and export their pets in and out of Kenya. The eligibility criteria. No canine or field animal shall be imported into Kenya from any country unless the animal is accompanied by the certificate of a veterinary surgeon signed not more than five days prior to the date of departure from the country of origin, certifying that the animal is free from clinical symptoms of any contagious or infectious disease. B. The animal is accompanied by a valid rabies vaccination certificate stating the type, manufacture and batch number of the vaccine, the apparent age of the animal at the time of vaccination and the date of, the, of vaccination. 2. The animal vaccinated against rabies less than 6 months prior to the arrival in Kenya must also be accompanied by a certificate signed by a government veterinary officer of the country of origin stating that there has been no case of rabies within 30 miles of the place of origin of the animal within the preceding six months and see the animal is accompanied by a certificate from a cap from the captain of the ship or aircraft in which the animal traveled to Kenya certifying that the animal has not left the craft between the place of embarkation and the place of entry into Kenya and has been isolated from all other canine and feline animals throughout the journey. The required documents. To import a dog or cat into Kenya, one should present the following documents to the Kenyan embassy abroad, a formal letter from the pet owner requesting for a, a permit, a certified copy of the passport from the owner of the dog or cat, a current health certificate from a veterinary doctor, a vaccination card of the pet against rabies signed by a veterinary doctor, Processing and a processing fee payable at the Kenyan Embassy. And to export a dog or cat into Kenya, one should present the following documents. An export permit obtained from the veterinary department in Kabete, Nairobi, prior to departure. A certified copy of the pet owner's passport. A certified a certificate of vaccination included rabies signed by a veterinary doctor. Current health certificate from a veterinary doctor. Steps to follow in making the application. 
uh, first have your pet examined via veterinarian and get all the re relevant vac vaccines. Uh, you, will, you will need to have your pet examined by a certified veterinarian. Some of the documents that you will need to present uh, when your pet arrives in Kenya will be issued by your vet. Your vet will be also be the one who will issue you with the pet passport. Similarly, if you are traveling uh, uh, from Kenya in Kenya and you are willing to export uh, your pet, make sure your pet has been vaccinated. Uh, you can do this by visiting the Kenya Veterinary Vaccines Production Institute and here you will be issued with a pet passport. To prepare all the relevant documents, uh, we have already gone through this. To import a dog or cat, you should present the following to the, to the Kenyan Embassy abroad. A formal letter requesting uh, a, for a permit, a certified copy of uh, the passport of the owner of the dog or cat, a current health certificate from a veterinary doctor, a vaccination card for the pet against rabies signed by a doctor, veterinary doctor, a processing fee payable at the Kenyan embassy. And to export a dog or cat into Kenya, one should, um, uh, one should present the following uh, uh, export permit obtained from the veterinary department, Kabete, Nairobi, prior to departure, a certified copy of the pet owner's passport, a certificate of vaccination including rabies signed by a veterinary doctor and a current health certificate from a veterinary doctor. So the third step you're supposed to contact the airline which you're going to travel with uh, and if you're thinking of flying with your pet uh, you may also try to contact your, the airline company so that they may provide additional information about the pet, uh, pet passport and how to bring your pet uh, uh, abroad and how so that they can also make arrangements uh, for you to travel with your pet. The fourth step is how to apply for the import or export permit. Uh, under the Kenya Animal Disease and Rabies Act, uh, you need to apply for an import permit if you would like to bring a pet into the country. And this is an international health certificate and movement permit for only dogs and cats. And this can be done uh, and you, you can make the application from the Kenya missions abroad. And if you are exporting your pet from Kenya, make sure you get an exporting permit. And you can you can do this by visiting the embassy uh, embassy of the country involved. Uh, the fifth step, uh, when you arrive in Kenya, after arrival in Kenya, you have to report the arrival within three days of arrival. Uh, the arrival of any animal entering Kenya other, other than by sea at Mombasa or by air in Nairobi must be reported to the nearest veterinary office within three days of arrival. If traveling from Kenya, the protocol, uh, the protocol about arrival in the other country will be explained by the embassy of the country involved. Uh, the fees. A fee is charged in cash or postal order payable to the Kenya High Com Commission uh, and this fee may vary depending on the uh, country of origin. The validity period, a certificate of rabies vaccination is valid for all kinans which are over the age of 6 months at vaccination and for all felines which are over the age of four months at vaccination for the period sp uh, specified, providing that uh, one of the following approved vaccine vaccines is used. Uh, a, a, phenolized vaccine. Uh, both canons and filians have a validity period of one to, two uh, one to 12 months after vaccination. B, living avianized vaccine. Uh, canons have a, a, a validity period of one to 36 months after vaccination and filians have a, 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 a validity period of one to 12 months after vaccination. The processing time is one day. Uh, the the office location for the Kenya Revenue Authority, the head office is at uh, Leselasi Avenue, Times Tower. And you can also visit them through their website of www.kra.go.ke. Um, uh, for the Kenya Veterinary Vaccines Production Institute, you can visit their head office in Enterprise Road, Nairobi. But the most important uh, uh Pro, the most important office is the production unit where you can now go and get the actual vaccine uh, from www. You can visit them from www.kvavi.com.
kevavivapi.or.ke other information is any animal arriving into Kenya without a certificate uh, state, uh, stated above will be kept in quarantine at the expenses of the owner for up to six months within uh, with the exceptions that dogs and cats imported directly from Australia, Ireland, New Zealand, Norway, Sweden or United Kingdom need not to have certificate of rabies and be animals in transit for less than 48 hours need not to have certificate of rabies but will be kept in isolation at the owner's expense during such period. Uh, animals uh, will only be allowed to leave Kenya by air by sea. And before I leave, I would like to mention again, uh, for the uh, if you want to get your animal vaccinated, uh, this uh, production unit of the Kenya Veterinary Production Institute, which is located in Kabete, uh, is where you go and get the uh, the vaccination. And but you can also uh, contact the other offices uh, to get more information and. Uh, for the Kenya Revenue Authority, uh, you can visit them with their website of www.kra. Sorry for the typo. Typo. This is kra.go.ke. So thank you for watching. Uh, and before we leave, uh, before we conclude, um, the website for the Kenya for the Kenya Institute. Uh, this is the Kevavi uh, website, Kenya Veterinary Vaccines and Productions and a Production Institute. Uh, this is their website and you can visit them and get more information about uh, how to get vaccines and the pet passport. And this is a KRA's website, www.kra.go.ke. And here you can get the required documents, which... Uh, uh, which you can, uh, which are required when impo when you want to import uh, an animal into Kenya. As you've seen here, uh, the veterinary department of Kabete, which is the the the, the department, uh, the branch which offers the the import permit of the of the pet. So you can read through the information to get uh, just clarifying some things so you can get more information. So uh, these are the two external websites where you can visit and get more information. So uh, before we leave, go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And I wish you all the best uh, in your quest for you to obtain uh, this uh, pet passport uh, for you to import or export uh, your pet into or out of Kenya. So thank you for watching.